Hey guys, what is up? I hope you all are staying very safe throughout all of this corona madness and that you all are staying home, staying away from the germs and the bugs and the virus. Um, it's kind of crazy like how quickly things escalated. Um, so I wanted to update you guys on the whole window fiasco that we had the other day. I've been very paranoid ever since then. Um, so I ordered some stuff off Amazon to try to keep him safe because he likes to escape and it's getting worse the older he gets instead of better. Um, so, you know, we live in an apartment. It's just me and Kidale. And I have for the front door, I have to put one of these kitty locks on it because he could easily just flip this. He's very smart. He's also tall enough, he could easily do that, but he cannot seem to figure this out. And it's funny because I'll have people over, like friends and family, and even they struggle with it. So I'm like, okay, if it's like kind of adult proof, then I know it's probably pretty good with KDL proof. So that's funny. But anyways, so I bought um, some stuff for the window. Number one, I bought an alarm. So let me pull up the window and I'll show you guys. People are playing tennis out there. Um, so I bought an alarm so that at the very least, if he opens the window, I will be able to hear it. Um, he figured this out, so that doesn't work anymore for him. Um, but this is a little alarm and I just bought it off of Amazon and it was super cheap. And it came in a pack of like 20. So, you know, there's more than enough to go on all the windows, all the doors, every single form of exit so that, you know, that you just can't be too careful. You can't be too sure. So it's really loud. So you, there's like an on button and you open the window. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe it's off. Okay, there we go. So now it's on, just kidding. I just installed these today. So I'm still working the kinks out. See how loud. Okay, so you see how loud that is? So at the very least, I will hear him trying to escape um, because he just did it so quietly the other day. I told you guys in a previous vlog what had happened. He kind of was just being temperamental and just kind of lightly slapped me, hit me, got aggressive with me. But his therapist always says, you know, if he shows any signs of of aggression at all to just take him to his crash pad. I have a crash pad in his room, so it's just kind of like a safe place for him to just get it together and, you know, kind of chill and relax and just duke it out in there and on the crash pad um, until he gets his emotions together. And it usually doesn't take him very long. So I took him into the crash pad. I'm sitting at the kitchen table and I hear him, like I hear him stimming and which he has this really loud vocal stim to where he, it's like almost like an E really loud. And I heard it and I was like, man, that sounds like that's outside. That's weird. Like it sounds like it's right by me. And I looked out the window, there he was having a little dance party out in the middle of the apartment complex. And it completely freaked me out. It was like that punch in the gut. Oh my gosh. I was just so thankful that I heard him. I was so thankful I heard him out there. I was able to get to him. Nothing bad happened. He didn't quietly escape and wander down the road or out of the complex. Um, I was just so grateful that I heard him and that nothing bad came of it. So, um, so that was definitely a moment of panic, but since then, like that night, I went on Amazon and I ordered a whole bunch of other stuff. So let me show you the second thing that I bought for the windows. Let me get this window up real quick. Oh, oh yeah, see that furniture out there? That's stuff that he started climbing on. So I had to take apart the um, bed frame because he was climbing on it and he broke it and long story. But anyways, this is actually made for a sliding glass door. Um, you're sup it's supposed to be like, if it's like this, then actually, can you see? So you're supposed to be able to open it and then that's what, you know, locks it. When you pull the window up, it stops it. Um, and then you're supposed to be able to go like that and still open it, but it actually, you still can't open it because obviously it's a little too 
that for this window. But that's okay because honestly I don't need to open it. And if anything were to happen, like a fire or something, it's glass. I can just break it. Like it's not like we're not gonna get out if there's a fire, you know? Um and we have two doors that are exits and it'll be fine. So I've got those on every window. I've got alarms on every window. I think that for right now we're okay, but I will probably just keep experimenting with home safety ideas and just keep you guys up to date as I find stuff that seems to work for us. Right now, this is keeping him in, it's keeping him safe. Um, so we'll see. I just wanted to update you guys and let you know kind of what I, what I did about our little problem we were having. But we're cooking dinner and just hanging out and enjoying this time together. Um, school's out this week. Last week was spring break. This week is out because of the coronavirus. So we're just hunkering down in our little apartment and enjoying each other's company. So we're gonna eat dinner and we'll catch up with you guys later.